Our next guest tonight is a talented actress you know from shows such as Girls and The Flight Attendant. You can see her in Madam Web, which is in theaters February 14th, and she stars in Molly and Max in the Future, which is in theaters this Friday, February 9th. Let's take a look. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. All right, so what insurance company do you use? Uh, I don't have insurance. <laughs> of course you don't. That's cool. Well, I'm not paying for your ship, so. Please welcome back to the show, Zaja Mamet, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back, thank Zasha. You for How are me. you? I'm good. That was a very funny clip. Oh, well, thank you so much. This is sort of a sci fi rom com. Is that safe to uh, describe it that way? Yeah, we've been calling it like uh, When Harry Met Sally in Space. Okay. <laughs> Very yeah, kind. Right? And that is, um, you know, that's a wonderful spacecraft you're driving. Oh, thank you. But you can be honest right now. What mm -hmm. was it actually? A Honda Civic. It was a Honda Civic. <laughs> it did have a familiarity when I was watching yeah, it. Yeah. It does look a little bit like a Honda Civic. Yeah, it, I mean, well, it is a Honda Civic, so. <laughs> It's got that Honda Civic feel, except we really just kind of like spaced it up. You spaced it up? Yeah. And after the film was over, did you think to yourself, I might get myself a real Honda Civic? I just took that Honda Civic home. <laughs> okay. Actually, that was my Honda Civic. <laughs> Yeah. So this is, uh, again, this is sci-fi. This is a lot yeah. of green screens. This is a lot of special effects. Yeah. And uh, what was your takeaway of doing a very uh, effects-heavy movie like this? Uh, it was pretty crazy, but we also, we did a very big mixture of, like, special effects and practical effects. So, like, you know, we had a Honda Civic up against these, like, insane LED screens. <laughs> we shot during the hottest week of New York summer two years ago. Um, with like, I don't know, there were like 10 LED screens. I was in a space suit, which was just like a repurposed snowsuit yeah. inside of a Honda Civic <laughs> that was covered with like what we used. It was like basically stickers and like sponges and old Starbucks cups that we'd like, <laughs> our production designer had painted to look like a spaceship. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was, uh, it was very high tech and very intense at times. Like I was meant to be screaming one day because I was supposed to be going through a black hole and um, I just blacked out. <laughs> because you were screaming so loud. I was much. screaming so loud and it was so hot because the LED screens were so intense. And I was like, this is what being in space is like. <laughs> um, you just had a big birthday, congratulations. I did, yeah. And unlike this film, mm -hmm. big budget. I saw some photos. Huge. Big budget. Massive. Birthday. Yeah, mm-hmm. You, uh, this is very adorable to me. You turned over the theme selection of your birthday to your father. I did. So what made you do that? Um, well, initially I was meant to be doing my birthday at my dad's house in his backyard, and uh -huh. then he remembered that he both hates birthdays and people. Okay. So he was sort like- the last minute, like, Yeah, oh, he was like, yeah. oh no, actually, so sorry, can you do it somewhere else? But I, in, in you know, the spirit of togetherness, I was like, hey dad, I'm doing it at your house, do you want to pick the theme? And he was like, yes, Zorro. <laughs> Like literally without skipping a beat. And I was like, why Zorro? And then he just started to sing the Zorro theme song. Yeah. And then anytime I'd be like, hey dad, so the party, and he'd just start singing it. So it was like two straight weeks of him. It was like he, something broke in his brain and he, all he could do was sing the Zorro theme song. And even though he decided to change the venue and not host, yeah. you would not take the theme away from him. You know, Honestly, people, when I sent the change of venue email to all of my friends, everybody kept being like, is the Zorro theme still good? <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's go with it. Now, it does make, I mean, I guess the Z is why you Zorro, right? The Z? He's got a daughter named Sasha. You might as well Z it up. This is my friend's cat. She took home the pinata because we thought it was too pretty to bash in. Yeah. And he's now having a full love affair with it. <laughs> There were, uh, I guess, is that the Zorro cake? That's a That's very the Zorro good cake with a saber. Uh huh. A and sugar. There's, there's the saber. You're yes. biting into the sugar saber. It looked very cool, but it tasted horrible. Yeah. As sabers do. As sabers do. Yeah. Did you have a good, uh, but overall, was it a good birthday? Um, it was a good birthday, yeah. Our friends, um, we did it at our friend's new restaurant in Santa Monica, and they own the restaurant next door, and they made us pizzas. That's good. Which was delicious, which is very on theme with Zorro. Yeah. 
famously loved famously pizzas. Famously loved pizzas. Yeah. He would do a little of this. Yeah, and then, and then right he'd to be Domino's. like, well, just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, speaking of, uh, 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 pizza is famously Italian. This is how I'm going to segue. <laughs> oh, no. You were, so yes. you were in Italy. I was, in, yes. And uh, you uh, posted on Instagram a very mm -hmm. harrowing haircut story. Yeah, it was dark. Okay. So I'm going to just show a series of photos. Will you just talk us through it? Because it really does have a beautiful arc to it. All right, so first, when you decide to get a haircut in a country uh -huh. where you don't speak the language. Yeah. So there's your first photo. Yeah. So now, I mean, decide, or it was time to get a haircut, right? You... Okay, so I was shooting in Italy for like seven months, and I really missed home, and I was trying to cheer myself up, and I love old movies. So I had this idea in my head that I was going to go get my haircut, and I was just going to be like Audrey Hepburn and Roman Holiday. Yes. So I was like, I'm, I'm a princess. Yeah obviously, and I'm gonna walk into some haircut place and uh -huh. I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna be Audrey Hepburn. Okay, gotcha. So first, That's... I guess this is the first thing you asked for was Beth Yeah, I Dutton. wanted to be Beth Dutton. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So this is your first piece of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And then you also gave this. Yeah, it was like Beth Dutton color, but this cut. All right, you know what? Right? Even with a language barrier, you've made like, it very clear what you want. We have photographs, yeah. right? I was like, right? Yeah. Strawberry, the strawberry got really complicated because they have like two words for strawberry in a town. And it was so, I was like, no, it's just this I would photo. Think so. Again, yeah. yeah. It, it's a bad unless you have a picture of the color. In totally. which case, it shouldn't matter how this, many words there are this, for strawberry. I was, I, was, I was like, give me a cigarette. I'll put it in my mouth and you can see. Okay. And then uh, here, they spent five hours mm -hmm. putting this in my hair. Now, during that five hours, are you having doubts or do you feel like? They know what they're doing. There was a lot of like, um, it was an Italian hairdresser full with, there were just men. Yeah. There were men everywhere. And they all kept kind of like congratulating each other. Like they'd walk by and look at my hair and be like, mm, yes, bellissima, yes. Mm. And I was like, I don't know what's happening, but you all seem really confident about it. Yeah. And like also very excited. Yes. I would um, fall for that 100%. Yeah. And then the guy who kept like washing my hair out in between the various different tinfoil moments would just be like so gorgeous. And he had these crazy braces and all these chains that kept like hitting me in the face. And I was like, <laughs> I just feel like I have to embrace whatever's happening here because there's no going back. Yeah. The only way out is through. Right. The yes. only way out is through. Um, so the next thing was, uh, and then this happened. That isn't my happy face. Yeah, so, okay, so before this happened, yeah. we got, he's so upset he's knocking stuff over. I'm so mad, I mean, I. Um, <laughs> just so, so I, we got to the, the color mm -hmm. being washed out of my hair and I sat down with wet hair and it was just basically. <laughs> that's not, oops, sorry. <laughs> I got this is that's also. Not, that's not. That's not. That's not. That's not that. That's not that. Or yeah. where's Beth? Yeah, Beth is here. Beth is. I Beth, mean, sorry, there's so Beth many. Beth is not photos. here. Is really. The, is there's really. No, yeah, Nate, yeah. If these, if, you, if these three people walked in, you'd be like, and I'm assuming the third isn't with the party. <laughs> you remember those when you used to read those books in the doctor's office when you were a kid? It was like one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Um, so, okay, so when he, when he went to go start cutting my hair, I looked in the mirror and it was like a brown, like a muddy brown with, it looked like someone had just painted like icing yeah. into my, like, icing streaks into my hair. And then he took my head, he brushed my hair and he took my head and he pulled it like really aggressively to one side. Then he brushed it down onto my neck and started cutting along my neck with the scissors. And I was like, what is happening right now? And then he took the front of my bangs and grabbed them and just started cutting <laughs> like this. And I was like, this is not gonna end well. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, you wrote this, which is nice. They always say it'll be better in the morning. They do say that when you get here. They cut. do say it will be better in the morning and it wasn't. It wasn't, that's. <laughs> It maybe even looks worse because now I think it's sinking into you that it's permanent. Yeah, it was really like, this is my hair. This is bad. So I woke up the next morning. I went to bed and I was like, look, you're overreacting. Change is always scary. And then when I woke up and I looked in the mirror, I was like, no, this is, this is actually really, this is a horrible, <laughs> this is bad. This is very bad. So I'm wigged. Yeah. I'm wigged for the show. So I was going to be okay, but I called our, our head of our hair department, this amazing, fabulous Italian woman named Claudia. And on the phone, she was like, it's, I'm sure it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And then she showed up and she was like, okay, we fixed. <laughs> and she takes me to her 
her Italian hairdresser and she walks me into the door of the salon and he turns around and he looks at me and he starts grabbing at my hair and like screaming at her in rapid fire Italian stuff that is like, he's clearly like upset at what he's looking at. Yeah. And this goes on for maybe like a full two minutes and then she turns to me and she says, he says it's not that bad. <laughs> Do you think he was like, and there's a man that did it. Did he have a braces? Did he have a chains? <laughs> did his chains hit you in the face? He actually said that we should go back and ask for our money back. <laughs> he was like, I'm so mad. I called them. I called them. I said, no, they took advantage. He kept saying they took advantage of me. And I, was like, I was like, Michelle, it's my hair. It's fine. But then, yes, this wonderful, yep. this girl who was um, one of the assistants, she ended up just... Yeah. Chopping my hair with it. We finally got We fixed it. We got, got there. Got we got there. It was okay for, in the end. Thank you for reliving. Oh, you're so that thank you for going on that journey with me. Oh my me. god, it really meant Honestly, a lot to me. It feels cathartic to talk about it. It's so nice to yeah. have you back. Thank Congratulations you. So good on the to movie. Be here. Happy birthday. Your hair looks great. Thank God's in heaven, everybody. Molly and Max in the future will be in theaters this Friday. Madam Webb will be in theaters on IMAX February 14th. We'll be right back with more late night.